fellas. He's done it. Nicely, nicely. Stuart Appleby has reached the 18th tee and he's using a, a three iron. Try to avoid the bunkers up the left hand side. I think he's quite happy with it. There it comes. Just hanging on to the right side. That's pretty good. Magnificent shot for Appleby. Needs that to finish six. And that would be leader in the clubhouse if he can get it done. Here's LeVay on the tee at the 18th. Yes, and he's taking the risk with the driver, counting on his straightness. Oh, yeah. go on, yes, he's put a little fade on it, left to right. Take it away from the sand. Maybe further up. Here it comes, and that is a mighty long drive. A pot for a birdie from Stuart Appleby to take him to six under. He's had the benefit of reading the line from Porig, and there he's cashed in on it. And how important is that? All 65, nice. Alex, home mm. in 30. It's a, a tremendous score. New leader in the clubhouse, too. Six under leads in the clubhouse. We're always saying how talented. What a wonderful striker this uh, man Appleby is. Oh, and that putt to take the lead. Perfect balance straight down the fairway. And remember, Peter, it is uh, quarter past two in the morning in Australia, so people have had a, lost a lot of sleep this week, but we're used to it. To take the lead of those completed rounds. No, it's left. Thomas Levey taps in the tiny part. Well played, Thomas. 66. Yes, and what a finish. 3-3-4. Three, three, I mean, that's a, a wonderful eagle. There it is in gold and not a single bogey on the card. That's a great round of golf. That's a magnificent shot. And what those boys down in Melbourne, they might even be breaking into a cool one now after that one. Missed it. That putt would have put him in the clubhouse at seven under. Um, that was, could be a very expensive miss to finish at seven under. I know Ernie Els is out on the course at seven under, but he's still got holes to play. Looks a good swing. There's our man scampering out. Taking the measure. Still a long shot, though, boys, isn't it, into the green? Absolutely, but he's given himself a chance of making a three. Needs a birdie. A 
because he may be aiming a little bit right and just letting it ease in towards the flag. Oh, unlucky it didn't get a hop. Just needed one bounce. for a 69 there's slightly see and he's got to hold that to make it a four-way playoff Elkington Leve and Appleby there were these two Australians a Frenchman and a South African well there it, my boy there's more work to do at least four more holes left to play. Okay, gentlemen, are you ready? Do you understand what we're playing? Four holes, medal play, they're after Sunday. Who's got first speed? Uh, we'll go alphabetical. <laughs> <laughs> A is next. Yeah, you're well, he, I mean, you're yeah, 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 Thomas Levy and Steve Elkington will be the first pair. So Appleby and Ells the second pair. I thought it was interesting, Peter, that Ernie Ells was the last to come to the first tee. Yeah. I find it more interesting in a way that, that Steve Elkington doesn't have any head covers on his. Uh, I don't think Jasper Parnovic does either. Poor old golf pros are trying to flog the members. You must, you've got those new clubs, you must have a decent set of head covers. They're the best players in the world, just they just don't give us stuff. Another interesting thing, I noticed that the gentleman in charge of the caddy bibs didn't allow the caddies to go on with the names of the players. He took them all off. It was time to collect them. Whatever happens here. Driver full of eight. He obviously, obviously Mom. has great confidence with that club because he took driver down the 18th fairway Mom. and hit it right in the middle of the fairway, and that's a sensational opening tee shot. Now Elkington. Going your way, guys. Short up. That's quite a bit shorter, but all right. So the first two ball of this uh, four-man playoff gets underway. Four holes they will play. Add it up and see if anyone's the winner. Steve Elkington's got 208 left into the pin. Thomas will have a huge advantage. He's got, I think, a quick calculation, he's only got 147 left. Down into that uh, deep bunker. <coughs> and although he's pin high and uh, sort of playing into the lean of the green, it's not the sort of shot you want to start. Struck it beautifully. Fact it didn't. It landed on the soft piece, the apron just in front of the putting green, and stuck there. At the 
first for a three, settle for a four now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, what a gem of a putt. This spot now, downhill it is, just a little break from the right for a par. And he didn't read it very well. Uh, that's a shot dropped instantly. One over par. Now, if this were a sudden death event, he would be counting himself out of it. Fortunately, with three more holes to go, he can retrieve and maybe even do better. That will be now. Looking for the fairway. Did he give that a bit of a scuff? Could be going left, I guess. Or maybe not. Yes. No, gone right. But OK. Well, they've the part on the first. <laughs> Safely in. Ernie's out with the driver. Is this an entirely different policy? Looks like it. Boom it down the right and get within an eight iron of the green if he catches a good one. Yeah. coming out of the rough. Well, I think that's uh, going to leave him a long putt, but it's a putt nevertheless, an uphill putt too. It'll cling on to that slope. It's got a five iron to the sixteenth. Yeah, and that was a beautiful connection. And a lovely shot again. Wisely on this occasion playing a little bit right away from the bunkers. Had a sad experience as the ball still rolling. This is what can happen at the front of this thirteenth green. One's just a little bit slower than you think. Putting from the back of the green, generally up the hill. Who's going to draw first blood with a birdie? A safe four for Ernie on the first hole. So they're a marvellous selection of holes for the playoff. Quality par three, a lovely par five, just about reachable in turn. Two extremely tough par fours. Wall of death putt here for Levy. He's got to get around the depression at the front of the green. Well first blood. Hey, first blood to Levet. <laughs> What about that for a putt, eh? My golly. You can almost hear the music in the background, can't you? Da -da 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 -da
Close was that, even closer than the, the part of Ernie else a few moments ago. So Elkington sort of lost a bit of ground on this particular hole to the rest of the field, and he certainly lost a bit to the man he's playing with at the 16th, the second of the four playoff holes. Now, just to tap it in, and that's a three. Full hole playoff. They've only one and under after the first two. Gorgeous drive from Levy down the middle, ending up on the right hand side of the fairway. It's a big one, too, Julian. Bunkers up the left-hand side, there they are, he goes zooming along, and that is a mighty powerful tee shot there. That's on its way down, I'm afraid, uh, it may stay. Or it may drop into one of the bunkers. There are a lot of bunkers around there. Yeah. It's going to stay there. Lots of wandered back from there. And just about stopped. Pretty delicious. Started on the right line. Just got snagged on the bank, trying to feather it with a high fade with a three wood around that big hump. So I think he, he knew he had plenty of club there, didn't he, Ken? He's just trying to take a little bit off it. Just a little bit too much. Thomas Levy reckons he can get there with an iron. I think it must be a two iron. Levey has gone birdie, birdie, par, eagle on this hole. Mustn't go right. And he has. It may skip around. No. was a similar position to Ernie Els when he contrived to take five on this hole a little bit further along but uh, Stuart Averby struggling here another par for Ernie Coming further left now. Not paying for the pin. Well, I think he's got it on the green by the chin. I have a funny feeling the way the ball reacted, it hit the lip on the way up. No, it came out cleanly, Ken. It's right over on the left hand side of the green. Just on the green. 
Oh, there it is. Well done. And the marker there of Ernie Els, just a foot or so away from the cup. Elkington's having to chip and run here to get over the corner. Oh, no. He duffed it. He hit the ground before the ball. There's no question about that. It may just have been a little head up. He had to hit it as clean as possible. And he taps in. He's left himself a real tester for a par. After a wonderful drive, just went into the green on the wrong side with his second shot. Looking a little anxious way, it's going a little down the left. Well, in regulation play, Ken, he just murdered one down here, over well over 300 yards. Left himself a long iron in, but that one hasn't found the fairway. I think he likes that one. Right there down the middle, Alex. Perfect. Perfect shot. He's done it. Well. Struggled over the first couple of holes. But at 34. Gets him right back into the thick of things. Struck it well. Very good. Just short, but uh, good line in. to the fairway. All the sweetest swings there be come simply so it seems to me. <laughs> it's so easy. Unfortunate in the hitting area, leaking away right and into the thick clag. Just gone into the thicker rough by a yard or so. Doesn't look as though it's lying too badly though, Peter. Tried to do it all with the follow through. I don't know what you noticed there. He, he, he sort of hit it and then collapsed or didn't really zip it. Oh, the pain of it. The pain of it. The pain of it was right. He had the old rabbit in the bag and he was about to pull the straps tight and the little demon jumped out. Long iron, nice connection with the ball. And uh, goes to the back of the green, and it looks a straightforward little chip from there. I can assure you it's like lightning. Good 
to toss in the bunker. from putting at the front of this green. Yeah, that's wonderful judgment for such long range. Escape with a par five. Never had a chance once his tee shot ended up where it did. Courageous fellas. I know they have to be to be in this situation, but that's a very good birdie. For a four. Oh my goodness, you miss a wallop. See a huge swing here, Ken. He misses that. He might just put himself right out of it. No. Part and with great cut to see, yes, for silence for Elkington. This to stay level. If this misses, he's gone. He's gone. Well, we've lost at least one player, Steve Elkington from Australia. 95 US PGA champion. He's out of the playoff. He really fizzes through the ball well. Splits the fairway. of these two makes a three or if both of them make a three then these would be the two that would go on into the extra time yeah. he was holding his balance uh, beautifully there and that is a superb shot not quite as long as Appleby's three would but perfect nonetheless They both drop a shot, then the trophy will go to France. Looks like a four iron for Ernie. 187 to the front, 212 to the pin. He can fly most of the way onto the green with his club. It's online. Nicely, nicely.
almost wherever it finishes in that bunker, Peter, you're in an awkward spot. He's in an awkward spot, he shoved it out. And there, well, it might have been worse. Which direction is he going in? Over to the right. is such a, in many ways, a gentle game, and yet it can be so bitterly cruel. And that was a good effort, but not good enough. And that means that both the Australians are eliminated. Apple, they can do no better than one over, and Levy is already in with par. Now, there's only one man that can uh, finish it in this uh, four-hole playoff, and that is Ernie Els. If he holds this, he wins the championship. If he takes two putts, then uh, he and Thomas Levey go into sudden death playoff. But the Australians have completed and are out. This man is still very much in it. Swing. Yeah. Early part every hole, and as we thought, four three four four would have um, produced a champion. And a coin for the honour. Ernie, I presume, one and is well, you don't know the other guy, Matt. One is you bat first, but I think under these circumstances, the winner drives first. And now this is the real business. That's not good, Ernie. Isn't it amazing? And that's not easy, that's a horrid place. It's not easy to find the fairway from here, Peter. No, it's not. If, he, if he's too greedy and there's no need for that, he could end up... Well, he went deep. That's not gone far. But he's safe. Flag, that doesn't mean to say he might not hold it. Very tough one, but this man is one of the best bunker players in the game of golf. He's got, a, but He's got to be careful on the downswing. Course. He doesn't hit the bank as he comes down. Oh, very well done. Didn't waste 
much time. Not over yet, though. Shaved the hole. I don't think he's lost his tongue, Peter. I'm not sure he's not run further past and will maybe have to putt again. I'm not sure about that. Angles can be, yes, he's going straight on with it. to five uh, early else as what you see there must be a good four footed maybe a bit more and this for the championship if he misses they go back and do it all over again Liesl can't bear to watch this pin cut is such awkward little ridge on the green. Not straightforward, Ken, is it? Just outside the right edge. Oh, the third time of asking, Ernie Else is the champion of 2002. But oh, my word. He gave his family and friends and, and all of us many heart attacks. <laughs> oh, what a very nice. With a score of 278, the winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer for the year is Ernie Els.